across the region and the country, parties and events have been and continue to take place to celebrate the Queen's 90th birthday. That salient took a look back at the time when Her Majesty visited Portsmouth Cathedral. Ben Trepes has more. In 1998, the Queen visited Portsmouth Cathedral as part of the Monday Money Service, in which the monarch traditionally gives coins to the poor and needy in a particular parish. The cathedral's dean explained the excitement that surrounded her presence on that day. The cathedral was full, obviously, um, and our choirs were singing, so it's a, it's a pretty splendid occasion. And there are photographs of the Queen arriving at the Great West Door of the cathedral with 24 beef eaters in full kits, so it's quite a, quite a splendid occasion. But of course she's been to Portsmouth lots of times for naval occasions, civic occasions and so on. And although that's the last time she came to the cathedral, she's, she's often seen around here. In September of last year, the Queen became the longest serving monarch in British history, a record previously held by her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. For the Dean, it's a reign that's held in high regard amongst the church fraternity. She has been remarkable um, as a person, um, as a person of faith, and she's put the Christian faith absolutely central to what she's done as, as Queen, and I think, you know, we're grateful for that, and I think that she can continue in that way is really important. And she sets a super example for everyone. As a regular visitor to Portsmouth over the years, the Queen is warmly welcomed when she journeys south from London. I think very high, partly because it's the base of the Royal Navy, and so therefore there's a special connection between the monarch and the Royal Family and the Navy. Uh, we're having a party here on the Sunday of her official birthday, uh, a big tea party on the green outside the cathedral, which should be fun. Ben Trepus, for that Solent. And staying with the Queen's birthday, we spoke to people across the Solent region to find out how they felt about the Queen turning 90. Well, I think she's, very, she's done very well. She's got quite good health, I would imagine. It seems that way anyway. And, um, you know, she's still doing her best. I'm not really a fan of the royal family. I kind of see them as a set of parasites where I don't believe we live in a world where money should flow upwards. I, I believe we live in a world where money should flow downwards. Yeah, I, I think we'd miss, miss not having um, a monarchy. Yeah, I do, yeah. She's a very nice person and good head of family, I think. In all the places we've been around the world, she's just proved that uh, she's the best. So everybody likes to see, think they've seen the Queen at some point in their life, don't they? I think with regards to being a public servant, she's, okay? she's served this country very tirelessly, but I don't believe that modern Britain really needs a monarch. Yeah, I think she's been done really well, lovely person, and uh, yeah, congratulate her on her long life. Hope she lives a few more years yet. <laughs> 